boys and girls! Welcome back to the Parsha Studio. Yom Kippur will be this week, which is why we are going to make a mini clay fish aquarium. Can you guess the connection to Yom Kippur? Here are the supplies we will need. A short jar with a wide opening, blue, green, and yellow modeling clay, air dry clay, a rolling pin, blue and gold glitter, and toothpicks. Let's begin. Open the jar and layer the inside of the lid with air dry clay. Create dips and hills for a dynamic rather than flat look. Here's what a fish has to do with Yom Kippur. Are you ready for a story? It's a true one written in the Navi. Roll out a thin layer or a few layers of blue clay, then press them down over the plain clay base to create the ocean floor. Many years ago, Hashem instructed Yona a Navi to travel to a city called Ninveh, where the residents were corrupt to tell them to do teshuva. Otherwise, he, Hashem, would destroy the city. But Yona didn't want to go. He was afraid the people of Ninveh, non-Jews, would listen to him right away, causing the Jewish people to look bad since they did not listen to the Nevi'im so quickly. Instead of going to Ninveh, Yona boarded a ship going to a place called Tarshish. Suddenly, a raging storm threatened to sink the boat. Yona and the sailors soon understood that he was the cause of the storm, so he asked them to throw him overboard. As soon as the sailors lowered Yona into the water, the storm stopped. Form two balls of yellow clay. Mold one of them into an oval and the other into a triangle. Do you know what we are trying to create with these shapes? If you guessed a fish, you're right. Yona was swallowed by a huge fish, where he stayed for three days. He davened to Hashem with all of his heart, after which Hashem instructed the fish to spit him out onto the shore. Connect the triangle tail to the circle body and then push a piece of toothpick through the entire fish to steady it. Now it's time to pull out our trusty green clay. Form four or five small balls, then mold each one into a piece of sea greenery. You know those funny squiggly shaped green things that grow on the ocean floor? That's what we're aiming for. Yona went to the marketplace of Ninveh and relayed to them Hashem's message. They listened and did teshuva. They fasted, put on sackcloth, and mended their bad ways. Hashem saw that they were sincere and spared the city. Stick a short piece of toothpick through the length of each sea plant to lend it stability, leaving the end sticking out a bit. As you break up toothpicks into shorter segments, be careful not to get a splinter. We read this story every year on Yom Kippur because the message of Teshuva in the story still speaks to us now. It reminds us that Hashem will always accept our Teshuva. It is never too late to make a better choice, a choice that brings us closer to Hashem. Insert two pieces of toothpick into the underside of the fish and set it aside. Sprinkle blue glitter over the ocean floor, then spread it around and press it into the clay with your fingers. And now the time has come to douse the fish in glitter too. It may not know it yet, but that's what's about to happen. Pour gold glitter over the fish and again press it into the clay with your fingers. Here's a question to consider. What is one step you can take that will bring you closer to Hashem? Insert the fish and greenery into the ocean. Even though this aquarium is a mini one, you can use your imagination to think about how huge the fish in the story of Yona really was. And for the last step, screw the lid onto the jar and that's it. Have a good Yom Tif and we hope to see you back again next week.